YouTube creators are making these common watch time mistakes. The first one being here and the next one being here. But the biggest watch time mistake that's being made is actually happening right here. So stick around because in this video, I'm gonna share with you what that watch time mistake is and how you can fix it. Stay tuned, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Welcome to the channel, I'm Owen Video and you can give me five, that's right, full pff, type five into the comment section now if it's your first time here. The hockey stick of death is a YouTuber's worst nightmare and I first experienced it for myself when I was making all sorts of videos about Facebook Live and these videos were so good. Like this one here, I make this epic 80s reference. Welcome back to the videospot.net where you'll learn video marketing like a boss. You're the boss. And in this one, I made this hilarious joke from an old commercial. Whatever else you wanna do. Just as long as you keep your shirt on, cause ain't nobody trying to see that. It's just skin, Steven. And this one is my favorite one right here, where I used a lot of stunning imagery to really capture the message and tell the story. So unless you've got your cranium crammed up the wrong side of your eating machine, the choice is clear. It's time to get started on YouTube. I thought these videos were great. So good. I thought they would get me thousands of views, but instead what they got me was the hockey stick of death. Let me show you what I mean. The blue line here represents your total viewers. The blue line here represents the amount of time they watched. The hockey stick of death is when a bunch of viewers click on your video and then they drop off in the first 30 seconds before leveling out, which causes this huge dip that looks like a hockey stick. If 60 to 70% of your viewers are logging off in the first 30 seconds of your video, that sends a signal to the YouTube algorithm that people are leaving your video and YouTube won't share it out. You dig? Now, I take my work seriously. And when I see that these people are not sticking around to listen to my jokes, well, I don't even care. Who needs these guys? Farewell, good riddance, sayonara. And that is the biggest watch time mistake that YouTubers are making. You're getting giant hockey stick dips in your watch time and you're not making changes to adjust it. Mr. Beast would be so sad. Go through your last 50 videos, write down where everyone clicked off, and then just don't do those things again. I love that guy. If you're losing your viewers within the first 30 seconds of your video, you need to write a better hook. Luckily, I happen to be a master at writing hooks because I wrote so many videos that failed. And I learned how to write good ones. In fact, when I started writing better hooks for my videos, my watch time soared through the roof. I started getting massive views on my videos, including some videos that landed me a spot on the news. I hadn't gotten that much exposure since I got my ass handed to me on Judge Judy. Well, I, she took them. I have one. Shut. She took them is the answer. Can't stand him. So I'm gonna give you five tips for writing a better hook. The first is the law of first frame, which says that the very first thing the viewer sees sets the pace for the rest of the video. So clean up your office a little bit before you shoot. I mean, this place is a mess. Teresa's table's completely destroyed. There's tons of cables on the ground. I've even got my dog bed directly underneath me. But everything you see in the frame looks pretty good. Number two is the law of first words, which says that the very first thing you say must be exciting and relevant to the viewer, otherwise they're gonna click off. And they won't even say goodbye. Zip, gone. In fact, the reason that my earlier videos didn't do so well is because the first words out of my mouth were a joke and not something of relevance to the audience that was watching. I'm such an idiot. Number three is the law of your logo intro. And this is where you have like an animated logo bumper pop up first thing in your video. Listen, Turbo, your logo bumper is just way too long. I know you like it. You made it yourself. You got Print Shop 2006 made yourself a good little logo bumper. But here's the fact of the matter. It's too long and it doesn't make any sense. You could be losing a lot of viewers here. So my recommendation is to upload your next video with no logo bumper and just see how it performs. You may also want to shorten it, but do at least one video where you get rid of it all together and see how it does. That brings us to law number four, the way that you sound. The mic's not working. Your video is not going to do well. Here's an example. Awesome. That's awesome. Come here. I'm glad you guys are here for this. Come here. Hey! So, we have been working on this guy forever. Did you see it? <laughs> That's amazing. 
Everybody, come and meet my wife. I don't know if the, the mic is even working. Come and meet my wife. This is my wife, uh, Teresa. She's the CMO of the company. That was one of the most creative videos we had done all year, and the mic wasn't working. That brings us to number five, the law of rambling. You might have kept them for the first 10 seconds, but if you're talking too much or taking too long to get to the point, they're gonna log off 20 or 30 seconds later. And this can be an issue for YouTubers like me that like to ramble on and on about stuff. Look, the fact of the matter is I can- <laughs> And that's why you wanna make sure your message is as short and concise as possible. Now, if you wanna create explosive growth on your channel, then watch this video next where I interview my mentor and YouTube expert, Daryl Eves, on secrets of the YouTube algorithm. It's a great interview, goes way in depth. Click on it now and I'll see you there.